So hello, Duck10Plays here, and in this video I'll be going over the strategies and tactics I use to get my 24 minute speedrun. To start off, name yourself something random, choose a quiet server, nothing unusual. Now one major difference from different speedruns that you may have seen before is that I started off at 50% day, not the usual 0% day that others might start off on. The reason I do that is because it saves about 2-3 minutes on the speedrun, I'll explain why and how later. You want to start off by getting wood and crafting a hatchet. You then want to head over to a large group of trees, get 70 wood and craft a spear and a workbench. At this point in time, you may have saw me drop an item that I was holding, which was a hatchet, to pick up a mushroom. I've gotten a few questions why dropping the items. Why I dropped the items. Dropping the items allows you to immediately unequip that item, allowing you to use hands and get food. It's a small time saving factor, but it's pretty handy. It also gives you an extra second to walk around to find something you need, like an armor. Continue chopping trees. You want to get around 150 wood and 50 stone before night. Don't craft a pickaxe, save your energy bar to your max, and then use it to find armor to kill your zero energy. Right now I find an armor ghoul, which is pretty nice, at around one minute. And now, that, uh, now in this case I'm pretty lucky, killing my first armor ghoul at about 75 seconds. You want to get vision to an inventory as soon as possible. In the best conditions, I would have placed my workbench and crafted the research bench. However, I do not have a circuit, which slows my run by about 45 seconds. If you can, get one circuit before going for armor. Ignore sulfur as it is not needed until then. Now that you see me spear and armor twice, you notice how I throw the spear and pick it back up. I'll play it in slow mode. As you can see, throwing the spear this way allows you to pick up the spear while only getting hit once. It is much faster than throwing a spear and running around, running a circle around a rock. Now back to the reason I spawned in half day. At around 75% day, armored ghouls die to the sun. That means around 60% day, there will be one or two shot by a spear. This allows you to spend rather 5 seconds on an armored ghoul than 30 seconds if you started at around 0% day. Of course, if you see another armored ghoul killing it for XP is always nice, it's just one shot and it won't take that much time off. Now that you want to get a circuit and place a now that you want to get your circuit and craft your research bench while looking for items like fat and sulfur. Right now, of course, I would already have my research bench crafted, I'll go back to it in the most favorable speedrun. However, this is not the case, and I start getting my circuit at around the 2.30 minute mark. Now, as you see, I'm pretty unlucky here because my spear only breaks one item before it breaks itself, it glitches out. So I get my item, get my circuit, drop it. He's already going for the sulfur, so I'm not going to go for it because I don't want to risk it because this run already has a good opportunity. Three minutes already have the chance of having it. I collect the resources, I can see it's almost night time, and I notice a board. Now, of course, while you're running around, you always want to get four of that. It will be a pain to get it later on in inventory so you can have it and get the items you need. Now since it's already night, you probably want to find a house. Well, you should find a house, not probably. Because you're, you'll have armor ghouls on you, so you want, so you pretty much need a house. You don't want to craft items out in the open like you see in most speedruns and in my previous speedrun. So, before night, you want to find a house that has at least three string sources in it. In the house that I've just passed by, this would usually have two string sources in it. Of course, that's not as favorable as the one I'm about to go to, but it's still pretty decent. So in this one, I would be going to this house, and I would immediately place down my workbench. But you want to get crafting, craft the items you want as soon as possible, Close it, uh, and then craft the campfire. Of course, while you're crafting items, you want to be able to do stuff as much as possible. So search stuff that you won't need that much speed or like time for. Craft the stakes, and then go ahead and craft the spear. As you can see, at this moment, I'm using a hatchet to break the sofas. Now, you may think this is a waste of time. However, it provides you an extra, like, how much time? I'll say like 15 seconds or 10 seconds. Because a hatchet does 7 damage per hit. However, a spear does 70. 
So about every 10 hat hatchet hits you get, but you should be able to get 10. You're saving about one spirit toss. Uh, it's not as energy efficient, but it definitely saves you some time. So now I go ahead and break the second sofa for my sewing machine. As in now, med medical supplies are not really the best use. You don't really want to use medical supplies anymore. However, a rataway is always nice. A rataway is something you cannot toss away. For inventory management, as you can see here, I drop my spear to pick up the stake. Now this allows me to not like, this allows me to give you, well, you should be doing that. You shouldn't just be like upgrading inventory just to fit. Because you don't need your inventory just yet. As you will need it later on, but right now, it's not necessary. So you craft your uh, bench right now. If I was a bit better at this game, I'll be able to hit the radiation barrel, which allows me to, well, it's faster and it's better. Take less radiation damage. Because I cannot do that, because I'm good at this game, I'm going to miss it both times, and I just decided to go for the save. So just take the radiation damage. I thought I won't take that much, and I'll survive anyway. So right now I break it, and I collect the sulfur I needed, and I craft my sulfur pickaxe at sub 6, or about 6 minutes. So right now I'm just praying that the string will respawn, because right now I need two more string. Minus the sofa right here, because I'm going to craft a radiation mask. It's always preferred over medical supplies. So now that I have this... This... Breaking the sofa... See, I'm not that lucky with the spawn, so I just decide... Most appropriate. Besides, the most appropriate time to craft this radiation mask, as if I don't craft it now, then I'll be wasting my time. As you can see, it really doesn't matter, because when you do this, it won't matter. So now, I have no idea what I'm doing. I think I was crafting this moment. I don't know why I was going there. Probably the thought, thought process that didn't go through in my mind. So, he has a string in a respawn and decided just to make the smelter. Give me an extra 100 seconds to do things I need to find the things I need to find. And, yeah. At this point, I'm just waiting for my things to finish, and mainly waiting for my coal to go all the way up, so I can find a deer and hopefully get the string I need in 10 minutes. Now, I upgrade my inventory, which I probably should have done earlier for convenience, but I didn't do it until now. And now I'm just off to find deer, which I obviously did not find, but instead, if you watched the video already, you know I find my two string and a third box in the house. Which is pretty lucky, considering that practically saved the speedrun. But not really, because sofas literally spawn right after. So really, it would have not made a big difference, but still, yeah. So now at this point, I'm gathering the resources I need for alloys, hoping I can find the string, and I do. So, now I have my dynamite, I have everything I practically need for getting the Tesla wires, drop the fat, it's no longer needed. I have everything I need before it gets taken by some rent. At this point, I'm just waiting for it to become daytime so I can go get my Tesla wires to see if there's a fuel that conveniently was. As a result of that, one, okay, so one major difference is like, I really suck at this and I cannot like speak without like, you know, you already know what's going on. So like, right now I'm just getting the uh, materials I need for alloys collecting it and smelting it before daytime. That allows me to not smell everything at daytime and hopefully get the Tesla bench up before I get all the uranium that I need. As you can see, all well, things respond, so really finding that would have made a big difference. That being the string, it's like, it's only about 
15, 20 seconds. But it would have been a major difference because I was not going to get Tesla until like another two minutes. So right now I'm going to place the smelter and start smelting the alloys I need. So I do not need to worry about that when I'm crafting the Tesla bench. So I can just craft the uh, uranium immediately and be done with it. The stuff that dropped is not being very nice. I'm trying to place the research bench before so we can actually start smelting. I see I placed the smelter, craft the alloys I need, even though I started off with one extra piece of that extra armor ghoul I killed. And now I'm pretty much set. All I need to get is uranium, which shouldn't be hard because there are multiple uranium sources I saw earlier. Get vision 2 so you can see better and see more items. And I get my alloys around. This allows you to like overlap about up to 40, well, up to 80 seconds if you have the uranium. So you didn't need to craft the uranium while you're waiting for the Tesla. While you're like, it allows you to save time basically. So as you can see here, uh, it's, yeah, I was able to semi do it. It's, I didn't have the uranium or the fuel for it. Luckily, there's uranium nearby, so I was able to get the uranium quickly. If you wonder how I did that, I looked in the third box, even though it was under a tree. You just quickly un, just click out of the box and press E again. It will allow you to look in the box next to it. So, as you can see, about 12 minutes in, I go gather the junk and stuff I need. I was able to. And I decided to get my two uranium. Just to be safe in case like something bad happens, like I can't find uranium, or that uranium goes away and I can't find any more uranium, then I can still be able to craft my research about my Tesla bench and use that extra time that it gives to find more uranium. Now my fuel look here is pretty good, finding about four fuel in almost each barrel. However, this luck with the explosive pool is kind of kind of yes, like why did it explode right then and there? So I go by, get collect the junk, even if I collect it in the first place, get more fuel, go around, and find the deer that I was supposed to get. And get more. So I check if you notice I may have checked my OBS by now. Just to see if I was on course. If I was like maybe like 18 minutes in and I still don't have Tesla, I probably would have reset because it wasn't worth it at this point. But I noticed at that point I was around 11 minutes, which is pretty good. So, see a dude, you know, so a bunch of things happened, and then I checked the trade, so over nine times, yeah. So, right now I fear you're getting savage, so I just start running in the opposite direction with the axe I saw earlier, and now you just, the random dude just starts following me, so I try to throw him off. So I now make my way to the Tesla wires, slowly going over there, saving energy. Now, as I save up full energy, you can sprint all the way to the Tesla wires. If you make it on the first shot of the sphere, you can sprint all the way with your sulfur pickaxe, and it's gonna be fun. You only need to hit the wires, the circuits and cables in the middle nine times with the sulfur pickaxe before it breaks. So, yeah. Place your dynamite in the Tesla wires, and get out. See, I picked up a welding helmet that didn't have inventory, so I just dropped it. Not like I was going to use it anyway. It just sounds cool to have it. And start looting the things that you need for the Tesla. Of course, you would like to have more junk than circuits. It was like, you don't need this many circuits. Now, of course, speed drugs require a lot of luck. In this case, I had Black Skull and somebody named Jack was running past me. Of course, if they decided to kill me, it would have been bold. I couldn't have done it. I was like practically like four shot by any weapon of choice except this. And yeah, I saw I went back to the uranium. I saw earlier, collect food, get stuff. So now we're going to skip a bit all the way to around 
15 minutes as I say that, I go get my uranium that I need for fuel. Of course, it's recorded a bit off because I'm not good at this, so just deal with it. <laughs> so, so you get the uranium I need, you get the six more that I need, you know, 15 minutes, I have all the materials I need. I know I can get this, I just don't need to die. At this point, I just need to smell the items, store food, and you should be good. You'll be able to get yourself 25 if you're lucky with the fuel and stuff. And yeah, I hope this helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next video.